Welcome to News and Fuse, and today's gonna be our first episode of our new quick format. Today we're talking about Hello Kitty, Cuba, and Paula Deen. Come join us, please, will you? Now it looks like the USA and Cuba are getting back together. Woo! Cuba's reestablishing their embassy in Washington, D.C. They've been putting paint up, flowers, getting ready for the party. See, Cuba was always like that ex-girlfriend you always wanted to get back with. You know, you see her in the distance, you see all the things she has that benefits, and you're like, whoo, why'd I break up with that? Whoo, look at her. She's got cigars, rum, she can dance, good baseball players. Baby, take me back. I love you. I love you, Cuba. Now that you thought Donald Trump had enough enemies, he's got one more. El Peso Hero, the comic book character created by Hector Rodriguez. Now, Mr. Rodriguez said he is getting tired of Mr. Trump messing with the Mexicans. So he said in one of the future episodes, he's going to have one of the laborers that is currently working on this $200 million DC hotel to beat him up. Don't mess with the Mexicans, eh? Trump's a tough guy. I don't think any of this really phases him much. I think Trump's only true enemy is the wind. Japan, Japan, Japan! You keep giving me material. Now EVA Airlines out of Japan is now expanding their Hello Kitty fleet of airplanes. I did not stutter. Hello Kitty fleet of airplanes. The first one was established in 2005 and they've had six more ever since. Now everything is Hello Kitty on this plane from the boarding pass, the bag tags, the barf bags, even the toilet paper. <laughs> and when you want your food, it's Hello Kitty everything. It's like a Japanese cartoon exploded on my plate. Now there's two things I would do on a Hello Kitty airplane. Huh? Huh? Ah! Or... <laughs> Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. I'm gonna give you a two for one special from Japan. There is a gorilla that is stirring up some controversy and making the women swoon. His name is Shibani, a 400 pound, 18 year old gorilla and the women are going crazy. So supposedly at the zoo in Japan, female attendance has risen, skyrocketed because of this buff gorilla. Women are lining up and hoping they can get a quick picture with Shibani and they swear that he's looking at them. Oh, thank you for taking me to the zoo. Thank you. Oh, who did the big gorilla? Oh, he's so cute. He make my heart flutter. Oh, I think I'm in love with him. I have to take pics up. I have to take pics up. Mm. I say cheese. Mm. Hello. Smile. I love you. You're my new boyfriend. Oh, can't live without you. Oh, I got to change my Facebook status to in relationship. Oh. This guy's becoming so popular, he's gonna be the next Magic Mike. XXXXXXL. Oh man. Now Paula Dean seemed to be making a recovery in America's eyes, redeeming herself, but she did something stupid again. Last October for Halloween, she was dressing up as Lucy Ricardo and her son was dressing up as Ricky Ricardo. You know, from the 1950s show, I Love Lucy. Now that's not so bad, it's Halloween costume time, but she had her son painted in brown face. Not black face, brown face. Now I don't know if she thought just because it was brown face, it's not as bad as black face. Either way, you paint your face and act in someone else, and you've had that kind of background, you're making a recovery, why did you, Lucy, you have some explaining to do. Now Ricky Ricardo was Cuban, American Cuba getting back together, and Donald Trump doesn't like brown people. You see how this whole episode weaves together? I am Ricky Ricardo from Havana, Babalu, Babalu. Now, Paula Dean last year hired a new social media manager, and that's when it happened, back in October, but it just came out this year. So now guess what? That social media manager? Ooh, you in trouble. I'm in big trouble. You better get the classifiers because you need a new job. Now, don't you think it's a good idea if I'm Lucy and you're Ricky Ricardo? I'm gonna paint you in brown face, okay? Mom, I don't think that's a good idea. Now, everyone's all in the uproar because I made those racial slurs. They weren't really racial, that's just how I feel. Now, be quiet, boy, I'm eat some of this chicken. Eat the whole chicken. I, I, I just took this I chicken out the oven. Eat the whole chicken, okay, baby. Fine. 
Put that chicken in your mouth. Hurry up and eat it. Now, I don't think it's racist. What do you think? You think it's a good idea? Shut up and eat this pound cake. Here, take these two pieces of pound cake. In fact, I want you to eat the whole loaf, all right? Shut your pie hole, boy. Shut your pie hole. Shut your mouth and taste this red velvet cake. It's so fluffy. Now, we're not going to get a backlash, do you think? Do you think so? Do you think? I'm getting full, Ma. Now, come on, let's go. Let's get Where are we going to be late to the party? Look at your face. Looks so beautiful and bronze. What, you hungry some more? You want some more food? No, no. Look at my face, Mom. Well, then let's go. Get out. Get your butt going. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That was our new quick format. And that's how it's going to be from now on. We want to keep making these videos for you, but please help support us. Subscribe right there with that little button. I'll keep coming next week with a new video. And once again, catch us and keep up on us on Facebook, backslash, News and Fuse, and also on Twitter. And I'll see you next time, next week on News and Fuse.